Really, there is a decimal point at the end of every whole number, and there are zeros in every place value column before and after a number. So here we have the number 3, which we can see is written below the ones or units column. Then to the left, we have place value columns for our tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, and hundred thousands. And to the right, we have our decimal point, and then our tenths, hundredths, and thousandths columns. So really, there is a decimal point after every number, and then if it's a whole number, there are zeros for all of the decimal place values. So the number 3.000 is just the number 3. Putting 0 .000 on the end doesn't change the number. And we could also put zeros in our place value columns to the left. So if we just have the number 3, we have no tens, no hundreds, no thousands, no ten thousands, no hundred thousands, and these zeros could go on forever in both directions. So, 0000003.000 is the same as 3, because all the zeros tell you is that you don't have any hundred thousands, ten thousands, thousands, hundreds, tens, tenths, hundredths, or thousandths. But just writing the number 3 also tells you this. But in an exam, if you have the question 2 plus 1, and you write 0000003.000, the examiner would have to give you the mark, because this is still the number 3. You can ignore zeros at the end of a decimal number. So if you see the number 3.40, you can just write the number 3.4. That's because 3.40 tells you that you have three holes, four tenths, and no hundredths, and 3.4 tells you that you have three holes and four tenths. So 3.40 and 3.4 are the same, because all the zero tells you is that you don't have any hundredths. So although writing 3.40 isn't wrong, we usually would just write 3.4. But we have to be careful. You can't ignore zeros in the middle of a number because they are placeholders. So if we have the number 3.04, we can't ignore the zero. If we did, then because the first digit after the decimal point is always the tenth digit, we would have 3.4. But 3.4 is not the same as 3.04. 3.04 tells us that we have three holes, no tenths, and four hundredths. But 3.4 tells us that we have three holes and four tenths. We need the zero to show that the four represents hundredths, not tenths. Just as in the number 304, we need the zero in the tens to show that the three represents hundreds. We couldn't write the number 304 as 34 or as 34. We need the zero as a placeholder. So to make sure the digits are in the right place value columns, we might need a zero in the middle of a number. It's only zeros at the end of a decimal number that we can ignore. Another important thing to remember with decimals is that the units column can't be empty. So we wouldn't usually write 0.34. If our units column is empty, we write in a zero. So rather than just 0.34, we need to write 0.34. You need to write the zero point before 3, 4 to make it clear that you have 3 tenths and 4 hundredths, not 3 tens and 4 units. And one last thing to always remember, 
make sure your decimal point looks like a full stop, not a comma. That's because we sometimes use commas to, re to separate thousands and hundreds, or millions and hundred thousands.